Whether a food is healthy or not is not only an inherent property of the food. People consuming the exact same food have different glycemic responses. We devised uh, this uh, machine learning algorithm based on a decision tree that allows you to predict how a certain food affects you in terms of postprandial glucose responses based on your individual parameters. Many of those uh, variables that determine postprandial glucose responses are based on the microbiome, for example, the microbiome composition or the microbiome function. And many members of the microbiota or many metabolic pathways participate in postprandial glycemic responses and we were able to predict those responses from the absence or the presence of such pathways or, uh, or bacterial taxa. We compared that the pizza to other uh, uh, meals that you consumed and eventually by integrating your personal parameters we can predict what is better for you and what is worse for you in terms of postprandial glucose response. It's also based on the data that we extracted from other people who behave like you and who have parameters similar to you. This is why we needed this large cohort of 10,000 people because we devised our algorithm based on all this huge data set. We believe that determining that a food is good or bad for you, it's really artificial. So we believe that if we look at the specific individual and their own individualized postprandial glycemic response, we can devise menus that are much more precise and uh, efficient in maintaining normal glycemia for each and every uh, participant. Yes, we can implement this in uh, clinical practice, integrating uh, the gut microbiome as a clinical parameter for medical decisions is only one step away and uh, we'll be able to achieve that very soon. Response to food is not only in terms of glycemic response, there are other aspects, constituents, minerals, vitamins, so on and so forth. We cannot rely only on our measure in order to construct healthy diet, but it is something that should be taken into consideration. And I think by integrating personalized nutrition to normalize the glycemic responses in the person, if we integrate this with other nutritional considerations, we can achieve actually a very good diet. The study was conducted over a period of one week, so we know it's a short-term intervention and it works. What we're actually doing now in uh, our lab is the long-term study to, to see whether uh, adhering uh, to such diet, personalized diet, is actually superior to the diet that is recommended by the Ministry of Health. Now we are following up a group of pre-diabetic people and if we show that we reverse their pre-diabetes and they become healthier, leaner, and they can comply with this diet, then we, we can have a proof of concept that this diet can be practiced. Mm -hmm.